You made it. Finally. Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? We looked everywhere. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Uh, well, sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Ah, <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Paima remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The tyrant of the winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, god of storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind, a gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better, or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. In old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The liar he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn, for the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down, and since then never has another worn its crown. So then what? What happened to your friend? Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! But Venti's telling his story! What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? <laughs> Getting a little... peckish or something. <sighs> Paimon's had it up to here with you! <sighs> you know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But then... Maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze... <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. <laughs> 